My nephew had been diagnosed with Asperger's, uh, and I, uh, I went out and was doing research on alternative treatments for Asperger's, and I basically just stumbled upon neurofeedback. Was completely fascinated with, uh, with the concept of neurofeedback and how you can retrain brain waves to overcome neurological conditions that I had been seeing in my chiropractic office. Things like ADHD, uh, migraine and tension headache, uh, generalized anxiety and panic attacks, post-traumatic stress disorder, insomnia, uh, tics, learning disorders, things like that. I developed my own system because I realized that the systems that were out there uh, weren't specific enough to the chiropractic profession. Um, so uh, I did a lot of research and I teamed up with several uh, mentors in neurofeedback to develop the brain core system. One of the initial things that uh, fascinated me about neurofeedback and really uh, drew me to neurofeedback was the uh, abundance of research that's out there. Um, I'd like to take a moment and read to you a quick quote from a uh, professor and pediatric neurologist at Harvard Medical School, Medical School, Dr. Frank H. Duffy. He states, neurofeedback should play a major therapeutic role in many difficult areas. In my opinion, if any medication had demonstrated such a wide spectrum of efficacy, it would be universally accepted and widely used. There's over 40 years of research substantiating the efficacy of neurofeedback. All of that research has been done in university-based research labs. Universities such as the University of Tennessee, the University of Utah, UCLA, the Ohio State University, just to name a few. Neurofeedback was very popular in the 60s and 70s in these university labs. Unfortunately, the technology at that time wasn't permissive for clinicians to have neurofeedback in their office. Since then, the technology has advanced and more and more clinicians are using neurofeedback. However, the research that was done during those 40 years is very impressive. If you'd like to read more about the research that we have, you can go to our website, braincoretherapy.com, and click on the research tab. There you'll find folders that are separated based on condition. And in each one of those folders, you'll be able to find the research substantiating the efficacy for neurofeedback for that condition. We have 125 offices throughout the world, uh, including uh, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Hawaii. They're all chiropractic offices, um, so uh, they, uh, they, they see these types of patients frequently. And um, the results they've been getting have been fascinating. Uh, one of the things you want to realize is that uh, for all of these conditions, there, there is no medical cure for any of these conditions. Uh, all medicine can do is provide management, and they do that through the use of drugs, which means if you are unfortunate enough to have one of these conditions, um, you are basically going to be taking a drug for the rest of your life. Um, neurofeedback, specifically brain core neurofeedback, um, provides an alternative to that medication and allows people to overcome these conditions um, without the use of medication. The results are permanent uh, and, uh, and they, don't, uh, they don't have any side effects.